Hello, my friends. It's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and it's Thursday night, so here we are at 7.30. This is where we are, and tonight we're going to make these cool little fall trees, and if you're hopping on, just say hey, and I know you're wondering why I'm sitting here ironing out leaves, <laughs> and I'll tell you in just a minute. Hey, Luann. Hello, hello, my friend. All right, I'm just putting them over here to the side because I have like two different piles. Hey, Karina and Diane and Jane and Jeannie and Debbie and Susan. Hello, my friends. Y'all come on in. Have a seat. Hey, Carolyn, Jalen, Sherry, Sherry, Sharon, Debbie, <laughs> Jeannie, Sherry, Joyce. <laughs> hey, Ruthie, Brenda, Susan, Pam. Oh, my gosh. It goes so fast. Hey, Connie and Jill and Shelby. Hello. Yes, I'm ironing leaves, okay? <laughs> um, I know, Donna, everybody loves this shirt, and I wish I could tell y'all where to get it. Hey, Lisa and Linda and Catherine and Angela. I got it in Canton at the flea market, so I know. This is, like, one of the favorites. And I actually, when I put it on, I actually, uh, it was wrong side outwards. Um, no, they're not real. <laughs> um, hey, Brenda. Another Brenda, bunch of Brendas. Hey, Debbie, Dawn. Uh, we're gonna make these little, this this fall tree thing. I'm gonna show y'all. Hey, Kathy. But I'm, I'm ironing these leaves because they're all wrinkled up. Hey, Arlene and Tammy and Molly. Um, okay, so I'll show y'all what I'm doing. So I got, <laughs> I've, already, I've already ironed this many, okay? So I guess I can cut that off. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Kimberly. Uh, let me cut this off. This is this is like one of those garlands that came from Michaels. Um, and I'm trying not to burn myself. Hey, Linda. Iron leaves, I know, right? Okay, so these leaves, believe it or not, they came from the Goodwill. And they were like sandwiched up together in a gallon Ziploc bag. And they still have the tag on them from Michael's. Okay, I got two bags of these. So they are six foot garlands like this. Okay, so I still have a whole nother Ziploc bag and I've already done a lot of leaves. Hey, Tammy and Leslie and Deborah. Sorry if I missed your hello. I didn't mean to. Hey, Kim. So, I, I kind of had this idea, and then I saw these leaves, and I said, oh, these are perfect. This is what I'm going to do, and I, I've already kind of prepared a bunch of them already, so I'm going to, um, hey, Tina. Yes, I think they're really pretty colors. They're that mustardy color that I'm really wanting to do, so it's kind of, all my stuff's kind of happening, like, not on purpose, but some of it is. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Susan and Penny. Hello, everybody. So, I'm just literally cutting them off of this because I have a whole nother bag that's probably got one or two of these strands in there. And I paid like $3 for the whole, ga the whole ga gallon Ziploc bag with this, and then I have a whole nother one. Um, I know. So, I love these colors. So, it was perfect. But see how they're all like, they've been smushed in a bag for no telling how long. So, I'm having to... Um, Hey, Becky and Leola. Oh, you got your stuff to make the sign? Awesome, Angela. Yeah, it's great when your colors seem just kind of, it just kind of happens. Like, I don't know. So, hey, Christy. Hey, Corby. And Dana. And Donna. Yeah, I love the fall colors, too. Um, Diane. Maybe. I don't know. I have to go back and look. Hey, Peggy. Well, welcome back. Hey, Mary and Loretta. They look so real. They do. Um, and I, I, I'm not anything against the red and the orange and the bright colors. I just like a more of a neutral palette. And by all means, you can do what I'm going to do with those colors. Um, but these just happen to be a good wheel. And I actually bought these leaves before... I was going with the mustard color, and then it just happens to be, it goes with my thing. So, it kind of just all happened. Um, hey, Kathy. Hey, Danica and Lindy. Hello from Australia. Yay, you got your rolling pin. 
Hey, Jerry and Shirley. Um, so I've just got my little Cricut iron thing and I've just, I've got it on the lowest setting. I bought this um, when Joann's had their Black Friday sale last year. Um, hey, Kathy and Cindy. Hey, Linda. Um, so they had a really good sale. You know, I think the Cricut stuff is pretty much the same price. I think they control the price. Um, everywhere with the Cricut stuff. So I'm just having to iron these out. I just got it on low. Oh no, they didn't have a rolling pin. I know. I'm, I hate it when we do that. Watching, working on some baby blankets. Nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous here too. It's like 77 degrees and perfect outside. It's been perfect all day. I had the door open up over here all day today. But, um... Yeah, Tammy, I love that fall sign. I, I just, I'm, I sit every night and look at it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I just, it's so pretty. Hey, Sherry, I saw your name. Let's say, hey, Sherry. Thank you, Linda, for sprinkling. But so I'm just pressing some of these because I'm going to show you all the process that I did to these leaves because I've got a whole pile of them I've already done. Um, Lori, we're going to make a fall tree. So pretty much... Everything I'm using tonight is going to be thrifted, um, but it can be purchased. So it's not like, like, see, look at this one. Bless his little heart. He's done, he done got crumpled up. So that's why I had to iron them. 75. Nice. Hey, Karen. So I'm just, so I'm just pressing them. And they do have that plastic stuff on the back side. So I'm just doing the front side and it's on low. So I don't, you know, I didn't have a problem today and I ironed, oh gosh, I don't know how many of I ironed. Um, so I had to do a lot of prepping for this, but I didn't want to have to sit here and iron 150 leaves uh, for this project. So y'all would have to sit here and wait. Okay, so this is what they start off looking like. This, you know, the it's this yellow and this like neutral kind of color. Um, Ironing leaves, right? I mean, this is a cricket little thing, but you know, I just, I use it for all kinds of stuff. Um, anyway, so they're this color, all right? So I decided that I wanted to juice them up a little bit. So I took, I'm gonna do some too to show y'all. I took my antique wax and I have added a little bit of wax to them because I think it makes them look more realistic. Because you know, when you see leaves on the ground, most of the time they have those kind of brown spots and I think they just look more real this way. Um, but like I said, I have all of this out here. So you're gonna need leaves and if you wanna wax, you can, but also remember um, Dollar Tree has those packs of leaves and I think there's 50 in a pack and I actually bought some the other day because I didn't know I was going to use these. It just kind of happened. Um, hey Vicki. Um, and they have this 50 pack of leaves. Well, was it last year or year before I showed you how to spray paint the leaves? Um, when you have leaves in your fall box of fall decor and you have those leaves that are like this, they're just one leaf and it's down off in the bottom of the box somewhere and you don't know where it goes or how to put it back on or where to put it. Um, I collected a bunch of those that were the bright colors that I don't really use in my house much. Um, and I took doubles, I took tape and doubled it over and I stuck them to the tape on top of a box in the yard. And then I spray painted them with like browns and rose gold colors that I already had spray paint. And I spray painted them. So you can paint these leaves. Y'all seen me paint them before. Um, the, the little fabric leaves. You can paint these. So don't think, okay, well I got a bunch of red leaves. I don't know what to do with them. So those little packs, they come 50 to a pack at Dollar Tree for $1.25. You could do that with them and paint them. If they're too bright for your liking, or you may like the bright colors. So that's another idea. I just happened to get all this from the thrift store, and um, I was like, oh, I'm going to use these. So anyway, so, um, but I did buy some because I wasn't right sure what I was going to do. Okay, so I have these leaves. I did wax them a little bit, and we're, I'm going to show you how I did it. But this is what we're going to do. Now, this is also thrifted as well. Yes, I could have went to Hobby Lobby and bought them. Because they are Hobby Lobby, and I left the tag on just so you could see. They're the tree cone, and they're $5.99, um, but they were 
$2.99, and I think that sticker was half off that week that I bought them. I've had them for a while. Hey, Colin. Um, and so I got them for $1.50, maybe. Okay. This is what it looks like to start with. Let me show you. This was after I took the stuff off because whoever did it, looks like they spray painted it gold, and then they glued this to it. Okay. So the minute I saw it, I was like, huh, I can just uh, pull these off. Pay $1.50 for these, for these cones, because I'm just going to hot glue right on top of this, so it doesn't matter that the, all this glue is here. So, I took all of this off of this one. So, I left this one because I wanted to show you how it looked to start with. It looked just like this from the Goodwill, okay? I have a Goodwill right around the corner from my house, y'all, so it's really bad. <laughs> so, anyway... So, here is my thrifted comb. You can make this out of a poster board, or you can get it from Hobby Lobby, wherever, you know, Christmas stuff, because this is in the Chris, I think this is in Christmas, and I think Christmas is 50% off this week. Um, I think this is Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Actually, it says Christmas 2019. So, that's how old these are. Hey, Debbie. That would be dangerous for you. It is, Karen. Trust me. It's it's dangerous. Um, so, so I thrifted the leaves and I thrifted these cones. Not at the same time, but and not intentional to go together. Okay? So, I took my leaves because they were all crinkled up in a bag and I ironed them. I just cut them off of this big, long thing. And you see they're all just crumpled up. And I ironed them. So now I'm going to put my little washcloths. We made bunnies with these at Easter. Y'all remember? Put those up, and I'm going to show you what I did to my leaves. Oh, wow. You're getting another a new Goodwill. That's awesome. I'm not beyond going to the thrift store, y'all. I like going to the thrift store. Um, and you just find some unique stuff that you wouldn't normally not find. And um, Okay, so here's my sponge that I used today. It's actually just a piece of card car wash sponge. Um, this is what's left of my sponge. <laughs> I did buy a new one. That's a spare over there. Um, so I just cut pieces off when I need to use it. It's $1.25. That sponge will last you a long time. Hey, Robin. Oh, Carol, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you're getting a new Dollar Tree. Awesome. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Christine. It's okay, Stacy. You're fine. You're good. Okay, so I just took my leaf and I took my little sponge. Like I said, I've already done this a bunch today. And I basically just shook up my antique wax. Like that. And I just used the lid, basically. So, I'm going to blot some off of my sponge. Because I don't want it saturated. Thank you, Debbie. Everybody loves this shirt. And I wish I could tell y'all where to go get one. Hey, Dana. You're okay, Linda. Okay. So, I just took my sponge. I dabbed some of the excess off. And then I just kind of tapped on the edges and kind of just kind of like you're dry brushing on the leaf real lightly. And it's just going to kind of hit those high parts. So it kind of looks like this. So I just thought it gave. So this is before. I didn't want it to look, um, you know, like I wanted them to look a little bit more realistic. So because, you know, leaves have those brown spots and all that stuff. I love it too, Vicky. Um, and I just kind of dab it on and kind of brush over it real light. You could probably do it with a little chip brush or something, but I just thought the sponge would be a lot easier. And then it just gives it that realistic look, okay? And you don't have to do this. I just wanted to do it to kind of knock that yellow down a little bit and make it look real. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Kim. Y'all are okay? It don't matter if you're late. You're here. It's fine. Hey, Tammy. Uh, Nancy, it is, it's called antique wax, and it's what you usually use over chalk paint. Um, it's water-based, it seals and protects, so I'm just using it to kind of, you could do a stamp pad this way. You could use brown paint, like water it down a little bit, and do the same thing. I just, you, I just grabbed my wax and thought it would be just easy to do it. I'm just kind of dipping out of the lid, because you don't need a lot. But I did go through quite a bit because I did a bunch of leaves. But see, it just makes them look real. So, I'm going to let those dry after I've showed you this. And y'all kind of know where I'm going with this. Um, 
So I don't really know what this is going to look like, <laughs> but y'all get the basics of what I'm, I'm going to do with this. Um, so here's, <laughs> there's some more over here. I don't even have them all over here. I mean, I ironed and I waxed today. Um, in between my laser doing stuff. Um, yeah, you can use diluted um, brown umber, you know, burnt umber, brown umber, brown umber, burnt umber, whatever you have. Or an ink pad or anything like that. Hey, Brenda from Indiana. <laughs> and these leaves over here just fell. Nobody's touching them or anything. They just decided to fall off the top of something over there. Y'all, weird stuff happens in here all the time. I came out here earlier and there was a sign that was clearly leaning up against the wall over there and it was all the way on the floor. And it was leaning up good too. It's not like it slid. It was all the way flipped over like that. I don't know. Mix some gray and burnt umber and paint some for a centerpiece. Yes. Oh no. Is that Ron? I can't see who that was. We'll be praying for you. Yes. He already run around the house three times. I guess, Gina, I don't know. It's... I don't know if it's Deidre or who it is. It might be Nancy. Um, but it happens a lot when I'm live. Don't ask me why. Stuff will just fall off randomly. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's Deidre. <laughs> she must be like, yes, this is cool crap. Anyway, so I'm going to take these leaves and I'm going to cover this whole cone. Um, and these are probably going um, on my mantle, on my fireplace beside my TV. I don't really know. Like I said, I've got two. <laughs> so I know I needed a whole bunch of leaves. Okay. Oh no. I heard that the, um, that the, that it was going around again. Um, I had to go to the post office today, um, to get my, apply for my son a passport. You have a ghost, trust me. It's okay. I probably do. It's fine. But my lights, well, like one of them will blink for a week or so and then it'll quit and then the next a couple of weeks later another one i have like can lights in my ceiling and one of them will blink 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 just do all kinds of crazy stuff and then it'll quit and it won't do it again for months and then it'll start doing it like this one right here was doing it right before i went live it's just weird so hey gloria you're fine so i'm gonna start at the bottom i'm thinking that's the best way to do it because i'm gonna kind of overlap my rows and I'm thinking I need to get my gosh I hadn't used my finger protectors in so long as probably no telling if they're still over here hold on Ugh. I'm trying to get them because I don't want to burn myself here they are gosh I hadn't used these in forever we say it's a ghost yep she's with me crafting She's with me. Okay, so I'm just going to go around, and I don't really know if I should be doing some sort of pattern with the colors, or should I just do random, or what. But we're going to figure this out as we go, so y'all can see, and I'm not even using them. Y'all can see what this is going to look like. I mean, because this may not look good when I get done, but I'm going to have these. Y'all, I hate using these. I honestly do. I can't feel anything. Um... Yeah, I went to the post office to get my son um, apply for his passport because he's going on a senior trip to Italy and Greece. And I'm like so excited for him. I know I was using my thumb. My pumpkin rolling pin is all over Facebook. Well, I, I did a reel of it today that just shows kind of how you do it, you know, because I didn't make a video of how I did it. Yeah, styrofoam, the, the hot glue is going to melt that and make a big crater in your styrofoam. So that might not be the best thing. Yeah, Erlene it is. And he's going, and I'm not going because I asked him, I was like, do you, look, look, I started way down here and then it goes around and goes up, 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 up. And you see how much higher this one is than this one? <laughs> the story of my life right there is like, I can't go straight across. <laughs> so I guess I need to bring it down some. Okay, we'll just overlap that. Hey, Brenda, you're okay? So we're going to see what this is going to look like. But I want y'all to imagine this. Look, look at the difference, how high and how low that is. 
and I can't turn my my heat tool on because I unplugged it to plug in my iron. So I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. So we're just gonna we're gonna fix it. It'll blend. Yeah, it'll blend. I'm just gonna kind of go low on these, but like that one doesn't have any wax on it. I don't know what happened to that. Um. Straight pins. Oh yes, you could use the little bitty the, with the little tiny heads. You could use straight pins if you um, did um, styrofoam. Donna, yes, I asked him. I said, "Do you want me to go?" But there's some. There's a, a, the, a one of the moms that's getting it together and all that. He was like, "No, not really." So, not being mean to me, but you know, my mom didn't go with me on my senior trip and. Uh, but it's a whole bunch of them going, and I'm really excited for him. So, we had to go. Yes, and we sequin pens would work if you had styrofoam. So, that definitely is an option. I just wonder how long this is going to take. We can sit here and chat. You was excited going to Disney. I went to, when I was a senior in high school, we went to Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and stayed seven nights and eight days. Had the best time of my life. <laughs> it was so much fun. And I'm not really trying to line these up any particular way. Oh, you paint your spiders and your jack-o'-lanterns. So, see, this is how it's looking. And I'm not trying to, like, stack my colors. I hope it doesn't end up looking that way. Linda, the leaves I actually got from the thrift store. They came in like this big, they were in a big Ziploc bag. And I really didn't know what all was in there. So when I opened it up, it was from Michael's and it still had the tags on them from, um, like from Michael's where they hung up on the rack. So, so see, this is, I think this is gonna be really pretty. And if y'all can imagine this, what I was about to say, um, on a real talk candlestick and I'm gonna show y'all because I got something out here that's really pretty that's been thrifted as well um Lori we're making like fall little trees Desi is should but I would seal it see how that one's this wanting to kick up like that I think I'm just gonna glue it down Timu. I have not ordered from Timu yet. I'm kind of kind of scared. I'm kind of scared of it, but I'm scared I'll get addicted to ordering stuff. So, um, yeah, we had Senior Skip Day. We did that. And they still do it. Um, toward the end of the year, they do it. Oh, wow. That sounds fun. The Bahamas. Nice. No, Brenda, I did not. I just kind of waxed them a little bit. See, I put wax on them. That one's doing something funny, too. We'll just glue it down. No, Brenda, I did not. I thrifted them. Um, yeah, I just would be careful with Timu because it kind of scares me a little bit. But it's, you know, I just wouldn't... People say not to order off the app itself. They order off of um, go online and order or something. <laughs> Tammy, they're so right. <laughs> we had, um, there was a bar down in Fort Walton. Now, I guess it's still there. It's called Cash's. So that was like the famous place to go. And you could get in at 18. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Hey, Peggy. I just got on Melissa's live a minute ago, Peggy, and was watching her paint. North Carolina to a football game. Okay, so see, this is how it's looking. And, like, when they stick up like that, I'm just kind of tacking it down a little bit because I don't want them to stick out too much. Gayla, yes, I will. I will cut some more spiders. Um, I can actually add them to the shop when I get done because I'll cut some tomorrow. Oh, no, they're being sued for selling people's information. Well, I've heard a lot of people say their credit card got hacked and stuff, so I don't know. I'm just kind of scared. It will take you to the app automatically. 
Okay, so PayPal. Yeah, definitely PayPal because I think, you know, look at all the, this is gonna come with spider webs too because, you know, all the glue, the glue stick strings. Gift card and they don't have my banking information. That's the only way I would do it is if they didn't have my banking information or my, you know, my credit card or anything like that. Kind of hold it down a little bit more. Yeah, they got to make money somehow, but they got to be making money. As many people as I see that's ordering from them and that are, um, you know, doing hauls on TikTok and everything else. I try not to watch them because it'll make me want to go order. Can a person paint a lampshade? I've seen people paint lampshades. I think I have painted a lampshade somewhere in my, in my DIY history somewhere along the lines. I think I've painted a lampshade. I got a cool lampshade uh, thing I need to do for y'all that I've had over here for a while that is one of those, like it's waiting for its debut day, you know. Cindy, I will when it gets closer to Christmas, probably. Okay, so we're, we're moving on up. But y'all just imagine this while I'm sitting here doing it. This is Dollar Tree. But y'all imagine this on your mantle on something like a pedestal. This is also thrifted. Anything that's got like this spindle base, I cannot, I cannot resist. Can't do it. <laughs> because I will put something on that. I'll put a pumpkin on it. Uh, something in my house. Exactly, Linda. I think so too. Um, people... They can't resist a good deal or whatever, but, um, I mean, I've heard good things about Timu, actually, but I'm just kind of scared because, you know, I hear good and I hear bad, so I'm just kind of like, well, I probably need to stay away because I will get addicted to it. Um, these leaves I got from a thrift store. Somebody just asked me, and I got them in a, they were in a gallon Ziploc bag, so really, I just knew the colors. I like the colors, and they actually still have the... The tag, they're the garland, like, from Michael's. And I got them for, um, like, three bucks. And I got two bags of these. Like, it was a whole gallon Ziploc bag stuffed full. I was looking for the date, but I don't think it has a date like Hobby Lobby does. But, um, but I just, um, the mustard yellow that I'm going with, it just kind of all came together. But you could, like we were talking about, you could do this with a styrofoam cone and do little straight pins with the tiny little heads on them. Because it's going to get hidden because you're going to overlap. See how I'm overlapping them? Um, so they're going to overlap and you're not going to see the pin. And that's a really good idea. I didn't even think of that. Because I saw these cones at Goodwill. These are thrifted as well because this is what they look like. And I paid like a dollar fifty. They were two ninety nine, and they were half off that day, so they were a dollar fifty for each one of these. And I thought, well, hey, hey, that's good for me, because I can take the beads are already coming off anyway. So I was like, I can just heat up my heat tool and um, see how much see how much difference I got going on over here. Um, I can just use my heat tool and get that hot glue right off, but they just pulled right off, and I didn't even bother trying to get the all the hot glue off because I'm all hot glue right on top. Some of the stuff I'd buy at the thrift store, y'all are probably like, <laughs> look at me like I have I have lost my mind, but I'm not holding them down long enough. But I just love these color of leaves. I snatched those bags up so fast because they were half off that day. There's a certain tag color. Like, every week, mine will have a tag, certain color that's half off. I put those things in my cart so fast. And it's been weeks ago because, um, and I, that was before I kind of decided on the mustard color to go with my fall stuff. Leola, I live in Hernando, Mississippi, which is very, very tip Northwest tip of Mississippi, right below Memphis. <laughs> I know. I, every, that's what people tell me. Like, oh, you have a good imagination. And, 
it's quite cre creativity is like the more you use it the more you have kind of deal so the more you use your creativity the more you'll start looking at things differently and seeing what the potential could be for them and it's it's a curse and a blessing because i have a whole room full and you can ask anybody who has been in here i have a whole room of oh you know I got this to make this project with, or this to make this pro. You know, that's I have a whole room of that. Um, yeah, I try. Somebody just said about thrifting or make stuff, you know, inexpensive. I try to, but I know for a fact probably most of you have a bunch of fall leaves in some cr totes somewhere in your attic, and. It's got, they got leaves in them of some kind for your fall decor. I know you do. Um, so, like I said, you can either leave them as is or you could take them outside and spray paint them another color, paint them individually another color, and do the same thing and just repurpose what you already have. Hey, Myrtle. We're going to need another outbuilding if he keeps getting stuff. <laughs> Angela. Okay. So see, this is how it's looking. I just think it's gonna be so pretty on my, hey Sharon, on my mantle. Okay, Judy's had no trouble with team. I forgot where I left off, y'all. I'm over here somewhere. Um, Judy has no problem. See, I think it would become a problem for me because I would order way too much on Timu. I ain't, I'm not gonna even lie. I'd be like, oh, put that in the cart and put that in the cart and put that in the cart. And, oh, it's 50 cents or it's a dollar. It's $2. And before you know it, um, Kim, there you go. Here's your project. And if you don't want to buy a cone, y'all could you could take a poster board from the Dollar Tree and you could roll it and make whatever size cone that you want to make and, and do the same exact thing. And nobody's going to know that it's a poster board. I just saw these at Goodwill and I knew I wanted to make some kind of tree like this and it just kind of all came together. And then I saw the leaves. Amazon and just ordered something leaves. But y'all know those leaves that fall off in your bin of decor that you don't know where they... What did I cover the cone with? Nothing. It, the cone actually was covered like this. And I took all of this off because I thrifted them from Goodwill. And I sat here and they just came right off. Somebody did a DIY and here we are. Now I'm, I'm repurposing it and doing a new DIY with it. I don't know where I left off, but it doesn't matter. I can already see we're going to have to make more leaves. So I wasn't sure how many it was going to take. You made the beach ball pumpkin? Yay! You know, Wanda. Not Wanda. Who was that above that that said, oh, P Patricia said, are you going to put lights on it? No, but I am now. <laughs> because Patricia just said, are you going to put lights on it? Oh my gosh. Little fairy lights. I have a little bin over here that's got all that kind of stuff in it. Oh, we need some lights. Those little wired lights, they're going to be fabulous. Yeah, we're going to need a bunch more leaves, so i got to iron some more. And... You've got a picture, but it's too small. Oh, let's see. Anything for y'all, let me just measure really fast. The whole frame is nine and a quarter from outside to outside by 12. The inside, and I think this was a surface I got from Target a long time ago, is eight and a quarter by, hold on, it's hard to measure with them biscuits there, by 10 and three fourths. That's how big it is. Okay, back to the, sorry for that little commercial. <laughs> Yes, I love to repurpose things, and 
I have got glue drippings all over my table, but that's okay because it's glass and it'll just scrape right off. Um, I like to repurpose too. Had the DT metal cones, Christmas, two different sizes. That would be perfect. Even if they're two different sizes, they're still gonna look really cute. This thing has been leaking a lot. I've got like little baby glue drips all over my table over here now. All right, stay down. Brown paper lunch bags crumpled up. See, that would be pretty. Now, if you wanted to, I did a, a garland like that last year with the brown paper bags. I cut leaves out, and that's actually a good idea. If you want, instead of doing leaves like this, you could um, get you a leaf template offline somewhere, and you could cut out leaves out of brown paper, even lunch bags, and you could either paint those, you could do the wax on them, whatever, and you could uh, do this exact same craft with leaves that you cut out. If you have a Cricut, you could cut them out with your Cricut, and that would be even, um, that would be even quicker for you to do that. I can't see what else Vera said, but she said she made the beach ball thing. And um, a couple of people have sent them to me that they've made the beach ball pumpkin. They're so cute. Hey, Barb. Yeah, Tricia, I don't know. Because it's wanting to drip. And it's the Gorilla Glow Stick, so I don't know. All right, so this is what we have so far. And like when they're sticking out too much, I'll just kind of tack it down a, a little bit more so it'll kind of lay flat. But yeah, you could make paper, brown paper leaves. There's some, some raffia that's getting in my business over here. Um, you could do, uh, this poor little leaf got hot glue. Y'all can see this, look at this. Y'all see this? This is a, a table of hotness right here. Look at all this hot glue. And all these leaves are stuck to it. So I'm gonna have to brown, gonna have to put some more wax on because we don't need many more, but gonna need some. Old tin type thing to put. Well, I, I have a stand that my husband made me years ago, but I'm since it's right here and I'm using it, but I have a, it's a glass top table. So I'll just pop that off right, you know, when it dries. Stacey, I do too, I love, the, I love trees. Oh, good, Becky. That sounds like fun. So you're going to be all ready for fall with your big beach ball pumpkins. All right. Mine's still over there. I haven't done anything with it. So, and I'm just, like I said, this, if they want to come, if they want to come off, I just tack it right back down. Metal scraper from DT works great for glue guns. Yes. Which, I have a little, um, I actually have a, it's a plastic razor blade. Didn't know there was a such thing, but they're plastic. And I just scrape it right off and then clean my table with Windex because it's glass. Best decision I ever made was to put glass on this tabletop. So much easier to scrape off paint, scrape off glue. Um, I just went to a local glass company and I had the measurements of my table. And I said, hey, I'm wanting to put glass on a tabletop, like a desktop glass. He's like, okay, I'll fix you up. And he cut me my glass and called me when it was ready. And me and Dorothy put her up here. But I can change, like, you know, I've got my my name here. But I can change whatever, put whatever under it. Carol, we are making a, tr a fall tree um, with lots of glue strings. But uh, this is what my plan is. And it's gonna go, they're gonna go on my mantle somewhere in my little tablescape on my fireplace. Hey, Kim. Hey, Donna. Okay. Y'all, the glue strings are just about to get on my nerves. I may have to, hear some more. I'm just, now I'm just trying to place them where there's too many yellow ones, trying to but we're almost to the top. Sales glass crafting something. Mm 
playing bingo. I love me some bingo, Mary. I love me some bingo. I used to, years ago, me and Deidre would go with her mom, and we loved it. I won some money one night at bingo, some big money one night. Beverly, I think so, too. I think it's going to be really pretty, especially with all my other fall stuff um, on my fireplace. Ah, Tammy, no, I've got to. I will try my best to go this weekend and do that. Because I have to go, like, when there's nobody there, like on a Sunday. No, Penny, they're not real. Um, they're actually thrifted. But they're actually from Michael's. They were just in a like a gallon Ziploc bag at the thrift store. And they're on a garland. And I cut them off. I had to iron them. Because um, they were all crumpled up in that bag. So I ironed them first. And I'll have to show you in a minute. what I put wax on them. See how they're kind of brown? Because they started off like this. And then I put a little wax, antique wax on them and made them look a little bit more realistic. So I'm trying to space out my... And it had these in there, and I'm not real wild about those with the little... Those are the only ones that has the little veins and stuff on them, and I just really wasn't wild about that at all. Okay, so now we got to stop, and we got to wax some more leaves. My little fingers are sweating, y'all, in <laughs> those things. Okay definitely need but I don't need much more y'all only got that much and when we get up here I got to figure this out because the leaf is going to be too big I may have to cut some down yes you can paint these y'all don't think oh I got I'm st stuck with all these red and orange or whatever color leaves that you don't like you'll see me paint them before um for different projects you can put wax on them you can put paint on them I've spray painted leaves before um and you uh-oh that's way too much. And you can uh, do whatever you want because these are fabric. And so I just lay them over here and let them dry. So it just gives them that a little more contrast to the leaves, I think. And it gives it a more of a realistic appearance. Because that's what leaves look like when you pick them up. You know, they have those brown spots. Hey, Margaret. Uh, sorry, this is Waverly Antique Wax. So, anyhow. So, I'm just... And I just kind of take my little car wash sponge. And I... I'm literally dipping it in the lid. And then I kind of dab some off. And then I just go over the leaves like this. So, we're going to just put them over there and let them dry. I shouldn't need too much more. wonder if putting them in the dryer. Ooh, I don't know. I'd be scared they would melt. <laughs> because, you know, they do have that plastic on the back. I don't know. I'd be scared to, to put them in the dryer. A few pointing up at the top. Layer over the bottom. I'm not following what that means. Put a few pointing at the top before getting too much further and layer over the bottom. Uh, Penny, I got these leaves at Goodwill, <laughs> um, and they still have the tags on them. I, I don't really know what that was about, but they were just crumpled up in a gallon Ziploc bag, and I was like, oh, I'm getting those because they had these neutrals in here. These have already got hot glue all over them because I have got glue everywhere. Let me put these over here. Um... Yeah, you could probably take your little heat tool and probably, you know, and do it. I just use my little Cricut little heat press thing. And I sat here and ironed. And while the lasers were going, um, oh, bingo. You had money at bingo. I have to. Your Goodwill's horrible. This one's already got some on it. Ours is pretty good. And then we have, um... The Goodwill bins. I don't know if y'all know. It's like an outlet. And my friend Julie. I've told y'all about Julie before. She is Julie Signs. Julie's Designs and Signs. I always say it backwards. Julie's Designs and Signs. And she thrifts. And then she flips stuff. And she 
Some stuff she sells like it is. Some stuff she upcycles and she sells it. Like once a month, she has a drop on her website. Yeah, it's like a grab bag full of garland, Teresa. I think so because it was... The bags were half off, so I paid, they were five ninety nine. I paid three dollars for two gallon Ziploc bags of these leaves, and I'll probably—I don't know. There's so many leaves, I hadn't even opened the other one. Hey, Melinda, this—I know BJ. The lights. I'm um, yeah. Who was it that told me that while I go? The lights. I'm like, oh, the lights. We gotta put fairy lights on them. Okay. There's a pom pom from the other night. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's get back to gluing. I shouldn't have put that glue that close. Uh-oh. It's my little things. Thank you, Pat. Hey, Pat. Yeah, the regular Goodwill, they've gotten expensive on things. Um, some things are not expensive. It's just really weird. Um, but the bins, so Julie goes to the bins a lot. And I don't know if y'all know what that is, but they, um, every, they change the bins on every 15 minutes, one set of bins, and... Anyway, she's there a lot, and she got me to go in, and it's, it's a lot of fun because you never know what you're going to find. Thank you, Teresa. I, I realized that. I was like, oh, I'm going to have my elbow in the wax lid. <laughs> yeah, Christine, like, pay, careful for your paint cap. Yep. Yeah. You don't have the bins here. It's, they call it Goodwill Outlet, but everybody calls it the bins because everything's just thrown in these big, Things that look like troughs, I guess, kind of. Clothes and all that. And I don't go through all that, but I'll go through, like, the house stuff and all that. You watch her, Susan, a lot. She gets some really cool stuff, doesn't she? Um, I've gotten some really cool stuff from there, too. Julie's from Louisiana, but she lives here now. Um, and uh, she's my friend. Where do they have the bins? Um, well, this one's in Hernando, Mississippi. They have them different places, but it's like the last stop before all the stuff goes to the landfill. So, it's really, really, really cheap. So, like, any kind of clothing or anything like that is $1.95 a pound, um, which it takes a lot. I've gotten a few Chanel bedspreads there, and I paid, like, $6 for them. The one I got... Recently was like a 1940s vintage uh, chenille blanket. And I looked at the company on the tag. And if you were to buy one brand new from that company, it was like $240. Julie's page is uh, Julie's Sign. No, I say it wrong every time. Julie's Designs and Signs. And she's, she's real cute. She's got dark brown hair and brown eyes. Um, you're okay, Vicky. And... Um, but she does, she thrifts everywhere. She goes to estate sales, all kinds of stuff. And she takes you with her and she videos and stuff. And um, then she, oh, Tammy, your nine-year-old granddaughter, Nova. Hey, Nova. <laughs> hey, Nova. Her Tuesday Target items come in. Will not donate to Goodwill. Yeah, I mean, we have donated Goodwill. There's also a couple of, places around here from like one that does the women battered women's place and stuff and they'll we'll donate there we donate to the cat the catholic church has a thrift um store and we donate to them but um i just like going to goodwill <laughs> but you know i'm particular about what i'll get to okay all right so now when i'm getting up to this point I've got not no pun intended. I'm getting to this point. But anyway, um, see how the leaf is like way bigger than this. So I'm kind of having to just kind of navigate as I go. Um, hmm. Tammy, was she was Nova excited? I was talking about her, talking to her. You wouldn't think those leaves would be popping off like that. They are they kind of stiff. They're, I mean, they're just fabric. They're regular fabric little leaves. But they, that plastic thing in the middle has them, you know, stretched out. Humane Society Thrift Store. And see, when I'm at the bins, you know, people, there's all kinds of blankets and stuff like that. But, of course, it all needs to be washed. Hey, Ruth. Um, that's what I think about is, like, rescue places that need blankets for dogs and 
just and and the sad thing is i'm trying to pick some smaller ones and i may have to ha actually have to trim a couple but um the bad part is they have a wall i need to video and just show y'all one day but that's what Julie does. So if you go to Julie's page, she hasn't been in a week or so to the bins. Usually she releases a, vid a, a video every day of going to the bins because she goes by there all the time. But um, they have a wall with shelves and they have like these plastic containers, like rectangle containers. And they change those out a couple of times a day. And when they go to change them out, they bring a huge cart that's probably as big as this table. And they just take the whole thing and just dump it into this cart. Glass, everything's breaking, and you're just like, oh my gosh, you just hate to see that stuff. Um, Vicky, I got my leaves at Goodwill. Um, you just hate to see all that stuff go into the landfill. So I can imagine if I see that much stuff going to landfill, imagine what really goes to the landfill every day. Um, but, all right, so see, I'm having to just wrap. See, they're kind of big. Just kind of when I'm getting up here, I'm just wrapping it around the best way I know how. <laughs> um, but it's kind of sad when they bring out the cart and they start dumping all that stuff. Turn them upside down. Pointy ends up. Okay, I will. I'll do that on the next one. So you see how they're, it's, so I'm just kind of coming around here and gluing it to it a little bit. Gluing it to it. Y'all, I'm a poet and didn't know it. <sighs> yeah, Susan, I agree. I mean, there's toys and clothes and it's just, it's mind boggling. It's, it's like really reality to see how much stuff is, um, is in there. And there's, um, there's a lot of uh, Mexican women that are in there. And, um, so point it up like this. Okay, I'm going to point this one up. Um, to make the top. Okay, Jane says, put the leaf pointy end at the top, make the top. Okay. Um, and so I think what they do, they buy a lot of shoes, tennis shoes, any kind of shoes. Because they're, they're like, I don't know how many, how many, how much they are a pair, maybe $2 a pair. I don't know. And they'll come out of there with carts full of stuff. And I think that they send it to Mexico, and it's probably resold in Mexico. But at least it's going somewhere. You know, it's not going to the landfill. And there's a bunch of them in there. And then they're in there all day. Because they change those bins out all day. Like, they have rows of, like, three, bin, three big troughs of bins. And they change them out. I'll have to video one day and show y'all. Okay, so I put these going up like y'all said, to cover up that little pointy, the pointy part, the pointy part. We produce too much new, exactly, Susan. And stuff doesn't last like it used to last. Y'all know those, um, cause my parents had one and y'all, y'all probably had one or your parents or somebody had one. Um, the big console TVs that was a piece of furniture that sat in the living room. We, my parents had one in the 80s through the 90s. And when I grew up, I ended up, when I became a, a young adult, I ended up inheriting the television because they got a new TV. And um, it was a tube TV, of course. Weighed 900 pounds. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um... Oh, wow. For food that's wasted every day. So, um, I need one more. Oh, there it is. Here we go. I need one more like this color to kind of put up here. That was a good idea of y'all putting it upside down. Um, anyway, and when I got rid of the TV, I think it went back to my parents' came at my par parents' house. I was reading something. And then, um, then I think they sold it to someone else. I bet that TV's still working, y'all. And it was probably like, like a 1985 model or something. I don't know. Yep, everybody had that old TV, the big console TV. You, and the, the things never died. And I think that's what the problem was. 
because they, they didn't need to produce new ones. And so now we have TVs that last two or three years and they're done, which is sad. Yeah, we are a very disposable society. That's right, Robin. I agree. Okay. So here is this little tree, and I'm going to have to take my heat tool to it and get all of this. It's got spider webs and everything. So, yeah, if I take me some fairy lights. I'm going to have to see if I got two. Oh, y'all. These glue strings are just maddening. Um. So, okay, so just picture it now. On my, on my mantle. Or in my little, um, um, my little vignette. I have a, a big, like, a big, huge, tall candlestick that I got from the bins. And it's really pretty. That stands on the floor. And I'm probably going to... I don't know if I'm going to put it on that, but y'all know I have this one <laughs> that I've got to iron and glue on. I don't know how many leaves I glued. I didn't count. But I'm, these glue strings are... Um, but isn't it so pretty? And then I thought, well, what if I put some kind of like a, something up here and let it hang down? But I really don't think it needs anything. Granny's refrigerator is in the best for mess room. Yeah. Yes, the refrigerators don't last like that either. The refrigerators, they lasted... 30 years. Now they last five if you're lucky. Yeah, I'll get rid of the... I had to unplug it to plug up my little iron. <laughs> so it's unplugged. So now I've got to... Um, but y'all, can't y'all... I mean, don't y'all just see? Put it on a candlestick. I mean, any. I love anything that's on a riser like that. I just think it's, it's impressive. Um... Or this is Dollar Tree. These little Dollar Tree, yeah, it is. Little candle holders. You could paint on whatever color. Oh, it's gonna look so cute. Sixty years old, Kelly. Oh my gosh. Uh, Lori, I glued the leaves to a cone from Hobby Lobby, but this one was actually thrifted, and this is what it looked like when I bought it. <laughs> this one keeps getting on the beads, but um. I paid $1.50 for them at the thrift store. I knew I could pull these off because I was going to hot glue onto it anyway um, and cover it up. So I pulled all the beads off. And no, I didn't keep them because they had... Uh, here, I'll set this over here. Because they had um, hot glue all over them. And I have so many Mar uh, Mardi Gras beads, it's not even funny. Um, so I just... Because whoever did it, I don't know if they didn't use a good hot glue, but it just basically... Pops right off. Just like this. So y'all know I gotta have two. Yay, Pam! But this is such an easy deal. And like I said, so let's talk about how you could do this without a cone. Poster board, make your own cone. Uh, roll it up, make you a cone, make two cones, however many trees you wanna make. You can make it as tall as you want to make it. The styrofoam, somebody said you could take sequin pins or straight pins and pin your leaves into the styrofoam because y'all know it's going to, um, eight track player in it. <laughs> um, 33 years you've had the same stove and fridge. You got a good one, Diane. Don't, y'all don't talk too loud because y'all know it'll tear up tomorrow and, you know, because you talked about it. They don't, Gwen. It's all disposable and it's so sad. Um, I mean, I like new TVs, don't get me wrong, but it's aggravating when you pay a lot for them and then they don't last. Computers are the same way. Uh, computer, laptop, maybe three or four years at the most, maybe. Fast stick for styrofoam. Ah, I've never used fast stick, so I can't say, but you could definitely just pin into the styrofoam and delete. They're going to overlap, so you're not going to see the uh, pins. If you use those little bitty silver ones with the little tiny little heads, um, yeah, 10 years, Dana, if you were lucky to get that. We had a fridge. We just replaced our fridge last year, I think, and I don't think it lasted. It may have been five years. Um, and that's a terrible thing to go out is when your refrigerator goes out, and then you have to make a split decision. Of, oh, okay, I want this one. And, 
and that was when stuff was hard, still hard to get because of because of COVID. You know, everything kind of oh, you gotta wait, we gotta order it. You know, it's like no, I need a refrigerator like now. <laughs> Teal, your divorce teal. I saw that, but I don't know what you said you were going to do. I missed it. Eight track dual cassette, AMF and radio turntable. Yeah, everything's computerized. A dryer go bad, and the parts are pretty expensive. It's better off getting a new one. And y'all, printers like inkjet printers, for what the ink cost, you could go buy a whole new printer. It's, it's, it's that's what's wrong. Oh my gosh, your one-year-old refrigerator went out. I hope it was under warranty, Judy. Okay, so see, all I did, and they have hot glue all over them, was I took this off, and they're just gonna go right down here on the floor. See, it's got hot glue all over it, and they didn't bother to paint this one gold. This one was spray-painted gold. This one's not, so I don't know what happened. Uh, phones too, right, Samantha? But I keep my phone, like, the phone I have is an 11, iPhone 11 Pro, uh, Pro Max. And um, I've had it for three years, maybe. Three, two, three. Oh, let me get all this glue off my table. But um, I've had it forever. And I'll, you know, it when it starts acting up and doing crazy stuff, that's when I'll go get another one. And it's kind of doing stuff, but I'm okay. It's fine. But now... See how those have got those little veins on them? I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but I don't like those. <laughs> I'm just cutting them off. Y'all are just coming on not even knowing what we're doing. But y'all, yes. See, look. Y'all look at it from a distance. Y'all can't see how the spider webs. I'm so glad. Oh, that's really tall. Y'all can't see that but there, but y'all get the whole point. It's going to be super pretty on my mantle. iPhone 7, Melinda, really? If it works, hey, don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to move that. Upright freezer from 1961 runs like a charm. I, I've had a freezer that we bought secondhand off somebody, and I think it was probably about that old and still running. Still running crazy. I have a hair dryer my mom has that's probably older than I am. Um, it's heavy too. Like, you drop that on your toe and it's gonna hurt. And that thing still works. I don't use it, but I still have it. So I'm just cutting my little leaves off. But they do look real, don't they? Breast printers ever. Hey, Marilyn. You're okay. Night, Karen. I'm just chatting and cutting off more leaves because y'all know I gotta make another tree at some point to go with this tree. Oh, somebody talking about being in Florida. So yeah, how are all the Florida people? I hope y'all are all good. Hey, Annette. Thank you, Arlene. Um, yeah, all the Florida people. I hope y'all weathered the storm. Um, okay. 29 years old. Marcedia, they don't make them like that on, anymore, I'm telling you. Y'all talking about all this, tomorrow your freezer's gonna go out. It's gonna be my fault. <laughs> Took two weeks to get the new part. And see, that's how when we bought our new refrigerator, when ours went out, it was like we didn't have much of a choice. It was like, okay, well you can wait two weeks and we can order this model and it's gonna come in a couple of weeks or you can get this model right now and so we were kind of limited. Yeah, Vicki, you can watch me do the other tree. If y'all want to sit here and watch me iron all these 955 leaves, um, I don't have anywhere to go. I'm going to sit here and iron leaves. I, I wish I would have known how many it took. Night, Bonnie. Okay, Sandy's in Fort Myers and she's good. Yeah, you're kind of, you're a little on further down, weren't you? No damage or loss of power. That's good. But, yeah, it, it turned into a four, like, really quick, I think, right there at the end, didn't it? Like, right before it made landfall, I think it it went. Um, Yeah, they probably don't make parts for that, Marcia. They're just going to tell you, oh, it's just got to go to the scrap pile, and you got to get a new one. We don't make parts for that anymore, which is 
saddening, but, but yeah, the service men that come out and fix stuff, and that took away a lot of jobs when, you know, they just make TVs where you don't get them fixed anymore. I mean, I remember taking TVs to the TV repairman when I was a kid. Like, if the TV, something happened to it, you went and took the TV to the TV repairman. Not anymore. You don't. You just go get a new TV. Oh, gosh. 22 family members in the past from Tampa to Charleston. Goodness. Okay. Oh, look at my tree. I think he's so pretty. But wait till like, ooh, I'm gonna get fairy lights. Yeah. All right. The second tree is the same size. This one's just up on here. Just to show y'all like what I'm gonna do with it. Or put them on candlesticks. Uh, I have some pretty candlesticks that are on my mantle now. And I may use those. I don't know. They don't have a tall one on the floor. Um, but I was just showing you. But yes, they are the same size. So it's like the cone from Hobby Lobby. But I thrifted these. And I took off all the ugly gold beads. And that's what I did with it. So this is all thrifted. So this is like a thrifty Thursday, I guess. Let me put it over here where y'all can see. Thank y'all. I think it is too. I think it's I think it's pretty. Um so here we go. <laughs> some of them are good. I don't need to iron them. But some of them look like that. <laughs> so that's why I got to ironing them. I was like, there is no way I can get these to act right. But see how the I'll show you. The little plastic things, your vacuum just quit. Um, you had to buy a new one. I know, it's just crazy. Like, you used to take to your vacuum cleaner to get your vacuum cleaner fixed. So, see how that little plastic stuff on the leaves? They're fabric, um, silk, flower, whatever. Um, but see how it makes it do a V like that? So, that's why they kind of, I have to glue some of them down. Uh, I could pull it off. I don't know if that'll make it look different. I can't really see it, but... Oh, I'd be here all night, wouldn't I? Uh-oh, you just got kicked off. What'd you get kicked off for? What'd you do, Emily? What'd you doing something bad over there? New vacuums. We have a, I think we have a shark vacuum. I think that's what we have. Went to see if I could see the blue moon. Arlene, it was last night. It's going out now. Um, it was last night. <clears throat> It was really, really pretty. Oh, Judy, that's awesome. You can find out anything on YouTube. How to fix a car, how to fix all kinds of stuff. Yeah, sharks are good. We have a shark vacuum. We have a shark steamer. We have all that stuff. Okay. So, I'm just... Most of them that are bad looking. Yeah, Dyson's are nice. I know they cost a lot, but they're probably guaranteed. I don't know. That may be why they cost a lot. Oh, you can see it again tonight? I'm sure it's not It's not full, but it's, I mean, it probably looks full, but it's probably still real bright. Rhonda, we, we took this cone, Hobby Lobby, but I thrifted it from the thrift store. All these leaves that I thrifted. And I made this tree, and I'm going to put them somewhere in my tablescape, on my mantelscape, somewhere in my stuff. So, I made, like, this fall tree. Look at Corby. She doesn't use it to make her, to fix her washer. <laughs> hey, you got to do what works sometimes. Stuff's expensive. The moon is huge. I know, it was big last night, too. I was out there trying to take a picture of it for my, with my phone, and... It, I couldn't get it right. And then, of course, today I see all these videos on how to do it. It's like, well, I needed to know that last night. But, uh, let's see. But I'm having to iron my leaves because they were all wadded up in a gallon Ziploc bag. And so they were all kind of crinkled and, and, you know, like this. So, you know, I have, I'm having to use my Cricut iron and I'm just kind of giving them a little press and pressing them right back out. Refurbished about 10 years ago. Well, that's that's a long time to have a vacuum these days. 
Okay, Becky's linking some leaves she found. But now Dollar Tree, let me show y'all the Dollar Tree ones. Hold on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They come in a pack because um, they're right here. Because I'll probably spray paint these. But Dollar Tree has these packs of, um, has these. And it says there's 50 in here. So they're the bright orange and yellow and stuff. But if you take you some tape, get you a bo Amazon box. I know you got one. And put it out in your yard and take your tape and do it. Roll the ends under, do sticky side up. And then just stick all the leaves to it and spray paint them. I did that last year, year before. I don't know. And used them in my decor. And I did them like a rose gold. And I did some brown. And they looked really pretty. You'll never know they were red or orange or any of that. So, you know, how they fall off in the bottom of your decor bins. Your fall decor bins. And then you don't, you don't know what to do with them. Because they're just kind of loose and willy-nilly everywhere. And that's what I did with them. I spray painted them. But you could get those little packs there and paint them. Or put wax on them. And do the exact same thing I'm doing and do it with a poster board or a styrofoam and pin them in there. I like the red and the orange too. Certain things I do. Uh, I've just been going kind of neutral in the last few years. But I do have all that too. I have all the orange. When you're a single parent, you have to do what you have to do to save money, right? And we have to, everybody has to do what they have to do to save money. I ain't, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm lucky my husband can fix anything, I believe. Um, he can definitely fix everything. Okay. See, look. See how they're all like that? Hey, Sue. Blue leaves from Dollar Tree. You're going to try to make one of those. Blue. I hadn't seen any blue ones at Dollar Tree. That'll be interesting. Vicky, I have mine on the little lowest... It has three settings. So, like, that's low. Y'all can't see that green light. That's low. See the little, that one? And then that's medium. It's heating up. And then that's high. And when it turns green, it means it's heated up. So, that's off. And so, that's, that's low. So, I have it on low. And they're doing just fine. They're not, um, you know, it's not, I'm just not doing it a whole lot. Mostly on the outer edge. But it's not melting the little plastic or anything. And I'm just kind of. Just doing a little bit here and a little there. Trying to get them straight because they were... Y'all know what they look like when they come out of the, out of storage. But these came out of a bag. Where's Mandy? Is Mandy on here? Look, Mandy. Look at my tree. Look. Look. Look at that. Mandy's on here. Everybody's saying, hey, Mandy. So this is um, Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor. She's like my, be my, bus my, bu my bestie. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Hey, Betty. Hey, Stafford. Look at my tree, Stafford. This is my thrifted tree, my thrifted leaves. I was sending Mandy pictures today. I said, do you think I need to put wax on these or what do I need to do? So, this is before what they look like. And then I put some antique wax and kind of gave them a little bit of um, dimension. They kind of look like real leaves. So, yeah, I ironed and wax leaves today. These. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Vicky, I was trying to decide what to put at the top, but I think I'm gonna put fairy lights in it. So, but y'all can do this a couple of different ways. Don't have to have the cone. Make your own cone with a poster board. <laughs> Thank y'all. Bless you. Um, if you have a styrofoam cone. Do that. You might have leaves in your decor stash. <laughs> Y'all are like, bless you, bless you, bless you. But I'm just taking my little car sponge and I'm just, just kind of dry brushing my little leaves. And so it just gives them a little bit of, they look real. So if you missed the first part, that's how I did it. Just kind of, just, just kind of dry brushing them. These are already done. And it takes a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh-oh. 
I got wax on that. Too much wax, but it'd be okay. They just look like they're turning brown on the ground. Everybody's telling them, hey, y'all don't watch Mandy and Stafford, um, Western Grace Home Decor. She is my bestie, and she is, um, uh-oh, I'm freezing, Emily. Oh, no. It's because you got kicked out earlier. So, like, when I run out of wax, I'm just putting my lid back on. Um, shake it up, and then I have... All back in my lid again. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of leaves. Who knows, Vicky? I sneeze. That's the story of my life. And I take medicine and everything else and just allergies just this time of the year. <sighs> that one needs ironing. But see, it just kind of gives them, I don't know. They just kind of look just plain and if you want to do it like that that'll be fine too they'll be pretty but it just gives it a little dimension to kind of give it a little bit of something but yeah somebody earlier said wrap it in fairy lights oh, i gotta see i got i know i've got some i've just gotta get them out and figure it out So are y'all gonna try this? I'm interested to know if y'all are gonna make a tree. Schmooze them up, Karen said. Yeah, see? It just gives them a little something extra, a little something, something. Maybe allergic to ironing, Robin. You're probably right because I don't do very much of that. Although when I made my baby stuff, I had to do a lot of ironing, that fabric, and in between the different parts of it. And I cannot, the, her baby shower is not this Saturday, but the next. And I cannot wait. Lori, you can plan a trip to Hobby Lobby. Yay. Well, go to Dollar Tree and see if they have the leaves. And that way it'll be a lot cheaper because there's 50 in here. I don't know how many I, I had on this tree. I didn't count. Um, And you could also just do it with a poster board. Or a styrofoam cone. Dollar Tree has those. I think Walmart has them too. Wooden acorns on top. That might be cute. You know, I love me some acorns. If you can find the leaves. Well, Vicki, try to go to Dollar Tree because I know my Dollar Tree is finally getting their fall out and their Halloween. Um, 20 sets from jars you're doing class reading. Jane, Amazon. Um... Amazon will definitely have like a lot of them. Like you can get like 10 sets or something. Um, so yes, try Amazon. Charlie, I do I do so a little bit. Um, but I can't talk about what I made on here until after I give it to uh, for my grandbaby. I made my grandbaby that's on the way. I made her some things and I have sewn them. Because I wanted to... Uh, I wanted her to have something that I made. Fall craft from this week that I made. Oh, the, the sign, the fall sign. And sorry it's not back here because it's in my house, y'all. It's looking all spectacular in front of my, my fireplace. So, yeah. So, that's why the fall sign is not back here. <laughs> but it was super fun. And the pom-poms, the pom-pom trim will be on sale next week again, probably. Ribbon. You know, I think ribbon goes every other week, maybe. Ooh. All right. I don't know. I, don't, I know I don't have enough, so I'm just continuing. Yeah, Vicki, you see the sneak peek? Um, if you're in my subscription group, I got to show it to them because um, my, my son and his wife are not in that group. So, I, I got to show it to them so they got to see it. But y'all didn't see it since I finished. I know Vicki is, I mean, she'll be here. It's going to be October the 26th is when they're going to uh, induce her is what we're, what we're shooting for. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm so excited and I can already tell I'm going to be in trouble 
buying stuff and yeah, all the things. But you know, I just wanted to make her something that I made, that her grandmother made. Hey, Linda, we made this little tree out of a cone from, well, I thrifted the cone, but um, Hobby Lobby has them, um, the little paper mache ones. Yeah, this is what I did all day. Oh, your new grandbaby was born on the 25th. Oh, sweet. Yeah, she's feeling good. Um, um, they're actually coming tomorrow. So I'll get to see them uh, cause uh, they're coming to watch Chase play football tomorrow night. So I'll get to see them. Aw, yay Judy, the little acorn. I know that was one of my favorite posts because that little acorn, um, you just have to think of the little acorn and know that that whole tree comes out of that little acorn. Yeah, oh, Dollar Tree has garland with leaves. Oh, that's good to know. And like I said, if you don't like what color they are, y'all can paint them. Just think paint is a magical thing. I'm sitting here still. I know, Vicki, I'm going to be the same way. I can tell you right now. Whoop. I gotta, I want to learn how to make, uh, when she gets old enough, the little pillowcase dresses. Cannot wait. I'm going to be a sewing mad woman. I, um, I used to sew a lot more than I do now. Now I just don't have time. But, um, I used to sew, like, purses and bags for myself. And I sewed Chase a, a bunch of stuff when he was a baby. Um, because I love fabric so much, I just can't help it. You make pillowcase dolls. Now, Sherry, you got to send me a picture of that because I want to see what a pillowcase doll is. That sounds interesting. Y'all might have to have one. I got so much stuff on my Pinterest board for that baby girl. Y'all, y'all just don't even know. Yeah, you probably do know because y'all got grandbabies, but I got so much stuff to sew, to make, to do for that baby. It, it, she ain't even here yet. Um, so <laughs> it's... uh. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. You can't sew a button, Lori? Yeah, you, uh, you could. You could. I got faith. I think you can. If you can craft, you can sew a button. But a sewing machine is not as intimidating as you think it is. All you need to do is know how to wind your bobbin and sew a straight line, and you're good. And then some stuff, you know, you just kind of make up as you go along. <laughs> it's the kind of stuff I sew, but, uh, yeah. I'll show y'all the finished product whenever, after we give it, after I give it the main thing to her. Um, I'll show y'all what it, I'll give, send you, I'll show y'all a picture. Oh, Carolyn, I want to see the gnomes. And you got to thread the needle, yes. You got to thread the needle. <laughs> That's always fun. The not knowing is intimidating. Yes, Bonnie. And if you just conquer that not knowing, it's really a lot of fun. Because it ain't all about, oh, I got to get the pattern and I got to, you know, don't think it's all, you know, you don't have to, like, uh, be so strict with your sewing. You can just, oh, I can sew with this, 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 and this, and I'm done. <laughs> Oh wow, Sandy, you did a you did like some serious sewing. Yeah, I want to see the pillowcase dolls too. Now, you'll have to put them in the put them in the reveal group. Uh, are you in there? Because you have to put them in there. We'll we, we'll all get to see the the pillowcase dolls. Because now I'm interested. Dresses to match. Oh, how cute! Oh, here's another one. I keep finding them. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but we're gonna see. See, now that I've used these leaves for this, I will take what I have left and I'll like put them in my little decor pieces that are everywhere in that same room. And that way it kind of, everything kind of matches. You like to sew, you're just not good at it? Oh, I bet you are. I bet you're just being modest. Yeah, post a pic. I want to see the, do the pillowcase dolls. Is it I'm just trying to imagine what that is. Like, are the corners tied in knots and like that's their hands and their arms? I'm trying, I'm just trying to.
You couldn't even sew a... See? She, I can see the name, but she said she's been quilting for five years and she couldn't sew a straight line when she started. All you need is somebody to sit down. I mean, I could do it for that matter. And show y'all, show you how to put your thread and, you know, wind your bobbin and all that stuff. It's And once you got that down, it's easy. See, Liz, I can't crochet, so... I've tried it. It is not my craft. It is not my craft. Okay, so there's number one. This is number two. If y'all are going to hang in here, we'll just hang out. You make arms and legs and body. Okay. Yeah, YouTube is great too. So you can get on YouTube and be like, oh, um, I'm going to learn how to... Thread a sewing machine. I guarantee you there's somebody on there that's got a video. Right, Vicky will do sewing. I just need to do it on here. I just don't know who'd be interested, but the, I'm going to tell you one tip, though. If you don't have a sewing machine and it's something that you think you want to do and you think you you got to have a sewing machine, get one with a drop-in bobbin. And don't, just don't even question that. Just, just don't, yeah. It makes it so much easier. There is a pattern for them. Okay, so Emily, they, you must just cut all the pieces out of the pillowcase. Am I correct on that, I guess? I started sewing in school and home at class. Now, if I, if I showed y'all on here how to do it, I'm just going to tell you that. It ain't gonna be no uh, professional, like, okay, now, like um, Carol Duvall showing you how to thread a machine, and hey, Pat, yes, Gwen, drop in Bob, and yes. That, there's two kinds, I guess there's two kinds. I don't really know if there's another kind, but some sewing machines, like, if it's facing you, the bobbin's in here on the side part. When we say drop in bobbin, we mean it's under the needle, you just drop it in and pull the thread out and you're ready to go. This little side business, little wheel thing that the bobbin goes in. No. Just get you a drop-in bobbin and be done with it. It's the best thing ever. You can crochet, but you can't knit. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Look, Sue's like, yes, drop-in bobbin. Yes, I'm telling you. Because, you know, I talk about Deidre a lot. My best friend that passed away, she um, she got a sewing machine, and she got one that didn't have the drop-in bobbin. And, Lord, we like to lost our religion over that thing. Sewed your wedding dress. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, the side bobbin is... See, look, I'm doing it again. See how, how low this one is? And look, I'm ah, going up high. I did it on the first one, too. Um... Yeah, the drop-in bobbin is, yeah. Oh, your tension got messed up, Donna. Well, get on YouTube, figure out how to do it. Your doesn't have a drop-in. I used to have an embroidery machine. I did do that for a while. I loved it. I made Chase everything under the sun when he was little. That had it could have his name on it. Um. It doesn't give you a problem, Susan. I mean, I guess if you learned on that and that's all you ever knew, like I started out with a drop-in and then when Deidre got hers, she, I think her mother-in-law bought it for her and it was a side bobbin and I was like, what is this kind of stuff? It came back to you, Rita? Yeah, it does. I don't think you forget. I had to kind of, I was a little rusty when I sat down, I had to figure out um, my tension. I had to get, you know, make sure everything was right. And I need to take it and get it serviced because it's been forever and ever and a decade. And I need, I need to take it to a sewing machine shop and get it serviced and cleaned and all that. 
Because it'll last forever. Yes, Candy says drop in bobbin. Hey, Susanna. Okay, so Adelia, the sewing machine has... Hold on. Okay, so you have your thread up at the top. And then, you know, then the needle's down here and the thread's over here. Well, there's a little thing over by the thread that the bobbin fits on. And you pop it over to the side. And then you put your thread on it. And then you push the pedal and it spins and it winds the bobbin. And then you take it off and you drop it in and you're good. Oh, Gayla, that's nice. Uh, I just did machine. I didn't hand. Yeah, I see you have a Singer sewing machine that has a side bobbin. Yeah, I mean, you know, if it works for some people, that's fine. But I, when I had the drop-in bobbin and then I went to one that did not, I was just like in a outer space. This one over here don't want to stay down. I don't know if anybody's counting, but I don't know how many I've done. See how they kind of come up like that? So I'm having to stick it down just to just a touch so it'll kind of lay down. This one right here is being stubborn. You're okay, Beverly. Thank you. Look at my little tree. We made a little um, fall leaves tree on a Christmas tree. Liz, it's not hard. It's really not hard. And there are, um, I mean, I'm not no expert now by any stretch. Um, but, uh, there's lots of, of beginner stuff you can do that's really simple. <laughs> I need to redo the cat scratch pole. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, so see, I'm getting my second one going. It's a going. I just wish I could do more than one at a time. You like the trees, Elisa? See, look, it's going to be so pretty. Hold on. That. Thank you, Linda. All right. Whoop. Hold that one down and go over here. Some of them are stay down really good, and the other ones don't. I kind of have to hold it. Isn't that pretty? So I'm either going to go, they're going to go on my mantle or somewhere in my fireplace vignette deal thing going on that I like to do in the fall every year. Just got some wood today to make some. Okay, Beverly, so this is a paper mache cone that you can get at Hobby Lobby. I thrifted mine from Goodwill because they had gold beads on it and I just took the gold beads off. And, but you can get them at Hobby Lobby or you can make your own with poster board. Yes, Elisa, this is this is like my jam right here. I mean, this is cute, but when you do this and put them up on your mantle, it's like da 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 da. Oh goodness, Erlene, I hope you get some relief from that. That's not that's not good. Every time you stand up, you get dizzy. No, that's no fun. Oh, she makes a dress for your great granddaughters. Um, I, I don't have another one identical to this one, but I have candles, candlesticks in my house and, um, I, um, uh, I might put them on those, I don't know. but like, these are the little Dollar Tree ones. I mean, you can paint this any color, cute as can be, Ooh. but I do like this dark color. I like, I like the dark. I think it's so pretty. I thrifted that too. Small acorns or little pine ones that look glue clued scattered on the tree. Yeah, that would look cute. Acorns. Y'all know I like me some acorns. I've got to get my, I have a bin up here that's got fall stuff in it. I got to get it down. I love the dark too. I think the dark just kind of gives it that fallish 
look, but you could easily paint this. And yes, book page leaves would be stinking adorable on this, 100%. Um, or you could, like we said earlier, you could cut them from the brown craft paper and you could put wax on them, you could dry brush them, you could do whatever, paint them, paint them colors. It would just be so, so pretty. Um, any way you did it, it would be really pretty. The cones. Um, Tammy, the cones, um, I actually got it at the thrift store. If you see all this ugly glue that's stuck to it. Um, they're Hobby Lobby, but they um, they were $2.99. They had gold beads all over them, like a whole string of beads. They're on the floor. Um, and I pulled all that off, but they were $2.99, and then I got them half off because that was like whatever was half off that week that's tag color green. And, um, so I paid $1.50 a piece for them. But they do have them at Hobby Lobby. And on here it says they were $5.99 in 2019. So, uh, I don't know what they are now. But they go on sale. And the Christmas stuff is on sale right now at Hobby Lobby. But you can make them with poster board. Or you can use styrofoam. Blue leaves. See, I haven't seen the blue leaves. Pine, yeah, I know what you meant, Julie. Pine cones. Hey, Gidget, my light is going good. We're making these little trees for my, inside of my house. I might have, I'm gonna have close to enough, I think. Just gluing on and chatting. We're talking about sewing. <laughs> but um, have you ever thought about or wanting to sew? Y'all just try it or go take a class or if you have somebody that you know that sews they can show you how to use a sewing machine and that's all you know uh, sheila they're thrifted as well they came in a gallon ziploc bag from the goodwill and they're actually brand new they've never been used they still have the michael's little tag on them um and i just happened to be going with this mustard color this year and i ha i had bought these before i ever decided that actually um, giant snowman nose with your cone thingy. <laughs> it is. It does look like a big gigantic carrot. <laughs> you could definitely make a carrot with it for sure. It's so funny. Yeah, sewing is not as intimidating as you think. There's a bug in your pile of leaves. Was it a bug there? It's a fly in here. Walking on the leaf. There's a fly in here because I had my door open today. So, yeah, I invited... A bee came up in here with me today, too, and I had to get him out. Spiders in the shop. Yes, Gayla, I will. Thank you. Good night. Um, it went under my leaves. I think it is a fly because he's not here now. And I did see something out of the corner of my eye a minute ago. Um, so yeah, I think I had my door open today. So he just kind of helped himself into here. He'll be in the windowsill dead. Danish costumes. Aw. Dresses and pillows. I like to make pillows too. They're easy. So a little square and you're good. Stuff it. Because fabric is just too cute, y'all. Fabric is just too cute and pretty. You like the tree, Sandra? Ain't it pretty? It's just a cone and some thrifted leaves I had, and they're going on my fireplace. Um, you thought it was on your iPad? He's gone. It must have been the fly. But, y'all, oh, look, I got... Oh, mm. Headed to Georgia with a load of eggs. Oh, you, okay, so I'm keeping you away. Ouch. I know, Linda, I do too, but, you know, it is what it is. Jane, I can do that too. Don't think I won't sew with my glue gun. I've sewed a lot of things on here with a glue gun. Pine 
pine cones and greenery. Yeah, now I've seen the trees. I know y'all seen them too. That are nothing but pine cones. And they're so pretty at Christmas. Look, I just managed to get all of this light color in this room. <laughs> I gotta fix that. Oh, that's one that don't have wax. I'm going to iron him really well. He's all crinkled up now. Okay. Five of your sister's wedding dresses and all the may... Goodness gracious, she was a busy woman. Crochet the top of them. You zigzag? Yeah, I like zigzag stitch. Just a little extra something. Glued all, glued all the wedding dresses together. When, oh, my goodness. Gidget, I do too. I just, um, I mean, that's what I'm saying. If I showed y'all how to do the machine and stuff, it's like, uh, this isn't going to be any, like, Carol Duvall show because I'm just going to show you how I know how to do it. I had somebody teach me how to, how to run the machine and sew a straight line. And, I mean, then we made stuff for our church, but, um... But that was all it took was somebody to show me how it worked and how to wind the bobbin and this kind of stuff. And then off you go. Uh-oh. Making a pumpkin. Oh, Tatter Designs. I know I love her. She is, Kim is so sweet. I've met her in person in April. Y'all, we're getting here. My fingers are going numb <laughs> in these little things. This on here. Got to do what you got to do. Yep, you do. You got to do what you got to do. Donna learned in high school. So, see, I was excited, being the crafty person I am, that in high school we were going to take home ec. And we were going to learn how to sew. I was so excited. Ow. That's kind of hot on my finger right there. Oh, wow. Help sew marching band uniforms. Now, that was a task, too. Anyway, um, and the year that I got into to where I could take home ec, they changed the curriculum. I was a mad person. So they, we had, we learned job skills and we learned how to get a job and they didn't teach, I don't even know what they called it. And we had like one week where we sewed and cooked and all that kind of stuff. I was so upset, but I didn't learn a blasted thing. So I had to wait till I was 30 before I learned how to do one. So, so a machine with a machine, family and consumer science. Mm, I don't think that's what it's called, but I was so mad because I wanted to learn how to sew. And, you know, people would brag about, oh, I made this skirt in the home ec. Look how cute it is. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to take that class. Yeah. Then they decide to teach us how to get a job. I do too, D. I think they should. Which now, our school, like my youngest son, he takes welding. So they have some of that in a lot of schools, I guess. But some schools don't have it. Because people need to do learn how to do trades like that. Living skills. Is that what they call it, Tina? G Gidget taught herself. He built a house in school. Like a real size house, Donna? Made your own prom dress. Donna, you just showing off now. Making her prom dress. She's like pretty in pink over here. Y'all know that movie she made her own dress. A pencil case in composting and cooking. Do you compost now? Probably not. Home economics, fun times. They need life schools. But see, now it's all about the state testing, and they have to teach, you know, what's on the test. and Because uh, that's how they the schools get their funding. It's based, well, here anyway. It's based on how well they do on their state tests and all this kind of stuff. I don't even sew now. It upsets me too much. Why does it upset you, Jordan? Because you get mad because it's frustrating or something? But fabric is so pretty, and there's so much of it, and there's so many possibilities. Oh, they're, they're both welders? That's what he thinks he wants to do. 
I was like, that's a hot job now. I think we're going to have enough. I know, I see, it was my freshman year too, but they decided to change the stupid curriculum. You made an evening gown out of duct tape. Well, I'm impressed. Now, I have seen, like, pictures of people that's done stuff like that. That's really cool. The tension is off. Wait, maybe you need to take it to, like, a shop. Y'all, I'm going to have to cut a few more. And they can help you get it straightened out. Your grandmother was a wonderful seamstress. My mother didn't sew or anything like that. My daddy was the, I guess, the crafty one. And that's where I got it from. He did a lot of woodworking and stuff. So I was around wood, woodworking my whole life. And then my lights over here started blinking. <laughs> Maybe it's my mom and my daddy. Yep, school is about the funding and the test scores. And all of that stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to put these up and down like we did over there. Running a CNC machine. Oh, that's fun. CNC, yes. It's kind of like what I do. It's just not with a laser. It's like a drill bit run by a computer. Takes so long to make them. I bet that thing's heavy. Made out of duct tape. Yeah, my dad was, he just, you know did all kinds of wood stuff and built stuff and um in his spare time and so me and my brother spent a lot of time in his little shop nailing nails and doing all kinds of fun stuff um so we did that's where I got you know I like working with wood and stuff I got that natural from him sewing gardening and budgeting needs to be all taught in schools I do too I think they need how to ooh, they need to um teach Hold on. I gotta do one more, I think, of this color. I got too much mustard going on. Husband had a 40 year old business out of it. Wow. 50 years, there's times I can't set my tension right. I take it to my sewing guy. Yeah, so sometimes you just have to let somebody else kind of mess with it. Um. Yeah, Pamela, you can do whatever color you want to do. I just kind of go with a, a little neutral palette in my house. Um, but I do like the oranges and the reds. and But yeah, you could do whatever color you wanted to. And it's going to be just as pretty though. But I love, I, I'm just all up about this mustard color this year. For some reason, I just like this mustard. All right, I think this is the last one. Yeah, poor Bob Barker. Making known you're making known clothes. Oh, that's cool, Candy, for their senior project. They'll have that forever and ever. That's kind of cool. I mean it is cool. Yeah, fall here is pretty too. I think it's just pretty anywhere. I would miss it if I lived like Florida or somewhere where the leaves don't turn. I think I would miss it. Oh, Bob Barker show was on tonight? Oh, my goodness. I missed that, too. My youngest son just came in. Are you home? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, of course, though, you're standing there, but yeah. Okay. I'm still live. Oh, y'all, my fingers are numb. Look at my fingers. <laughs> I love making quilts. We had poppy seed chicken. This was good. Sounds good. All right, I'll be in there in a minute. Anyway, love you. love you. Good night. Okay. You did miss it when you lived in Florida. See, that's what I'm thinking. I think I would miss the leaves turning. Um, no fall here in Florida, unfortunately. See, I just, I can't imagine it being like that. It just kind of seems weird, but, um, but look, y'all. See? All right, well, let's put this one up here. But, y'all, this is going to be so pretty on my mantle. See, they're the same size. But if you had one small and one big, it would still be pretty. Um, home ec in the eighth grade, and the teacher wouldn't help me, so I took my jumper home that night, and my mother said, <laughs> Susan, did she sew it for you? <laughs> uh, 
Um, Vicky, I know I love fall too. I just love the colors. I love the pumpkins. I love everything about it. Um, Yeah, okay, so if you go look for leaves, like I said, you can go to Dollar Tree and get these little, these are 50, pack, 50 in a pack. And you can either leave them those colors, which they'll be fine, or you can paint them, spray paint them, antique wax them like I did. And, you know, and also too, if you go to the thrift store or the Goodwill, people are getting out their decor and they're like, they're, get, they're getting rid of stuff. So this is a good time to find it because they're um, purging their stuff. And so maybe that's why I found these. Buffalo first Christmas, 80 degrees. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Christmas, it might be 85 degrees or it might be 25 degrees in the South. You just don't know. Trees are beautiful in fall here. They're, they're beautiful here too. Um, like, cause we have pine trees that are green all the time. And then we have hardwoods. So you have that green mixed in with all the hardwoods. It's beautiful. Uh, wax them. I put antique wax on mine. I just rubbed my leaves with, so they look like this to start with. They were just plain one solid color. And then I took wax and kind of just brushed it on with a sponge. And you can kind of see it here. So it gives them those little brown spots like real leaves have. And it just gives them a little extra dimension and they look real. And I just did it with a little car wash sponge and some antique wax. Hey, Angela. Your leaves are already starting to change here. Not here. If they're changing here, it's because they're dying because they're it's too hot and it's dry. <laughs> but um, I bet it is pretty in Maine and up that way though. I'm in Vermont, I know it's beautiful. Night, Shirley. She schmoozed them and with wax. <laughs> I did, because they were just you know just that color, and that would be pretty like that. But I had to go a little bit more and make them look a little bit more realistic. And it just gives it that, that depth because you've got the brown, because leaves are like that. When you find them on the ground, they have all those little brown spots and stuff on them. Um, uh, the wax is from Walmart, but you could do it with brown paint if you wanted to. This is, I just used that because I knew what color it was gonna turn out and be um, late October. Yeah, late October, Tammy. Is about when it is, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you, Marcedia. The maples are starting to turn red. See, I love the reds. It's so pretty. And then it, it also depends on, too, whether you have a lot of rain in the summer of how pretty the leaves are going to be. I don't know how that if that is everywhere else, but that's how it is here. Like, if we have a real dry, dry summer, hot summer, they'll just turn brown and fall off. Like, they won't turn really pretty. One cone fatter when you start it. No. It does look fat though. Let me see if I can. Uh oh. I got a fat and a skinny. It does look, doesn't it? That one looks full and this one's. No, they were the exact same size, but yeah, this one does look a lot skinnier. Maybe he just needs a little fluffing. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I see a bare spot. I gotta put a leaf over. Look, I got a spot over here. I don't know how I did that. Must have not, must have had something to do with me talking. Story of my life. Oh, I talked. Throw away all our decorations and start again next year. Ugh, oh, who does that? Like, if I don't like something, I'll just paint it. Like, if you get some old pumpkins out of your decor and they kind of turn to funny color because they've been in the heat in the attic or something like that, um, just paint them. Paint them another color. Yeah, I guess I can add... Maybe I glued them down. I don't know what happened. Maybe I just need to fluff them out. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I stuck them down really good or something. 
hot. Our humidity is a killer in a day. We have a lot of humidity too here. Whew. Okay, I gotta get all the strings off for sure. I don't throw anything away. I throw stuff away, but I, some things. Yes, D, I'm definitely gonna try to get me some, which I have a, some fairy lights over here. I don't know if I have like two of the same kind. I may have to go. Uh, Carla, it is a cone, a paper mache cone. It's from Hobby Lobby, but I got it from Goodwill. And they were covered with gold beads and I just pulled them off because they were hot glued on. And um, this is what I'm gonna do with them. That pretty put them on some kind of a I have candlesticks in my house and yeah I'm gonna put them on my candlesticks or some type of little deal like this um, or Dollar Tree you know has these you could even get the glass ones and paint the glass ones and put the little glass Dollar Tree ones under there but you can make this with poster board or styrofoam a wine bottle too a wine bottle like put the tree on a wine bottle Okay, Donna, I'm going to put the spiders in there when I get off. I'm in Mississippi. I'm at the very top of Mississippi. The northwest corner of Mississippi. Oh, that's, that's good. Gary, I know it's not Gary. I can't remember what your name is because I know that's your husband's account. But, yes, you could take the little wood slices and you can make a trunk. That would be cool, too. You're welcome, Judy. Good night, Carolyn. Leaves on the wine bottle. That, that, yeah, that would be cool. And just, if it has a tall, like, the little spout. Yeah, you could make it look like that. <laughs> After one empties it, right, Patricia? You drink the bottle of wine first, then you start gluing on your leaves. <laughs> See how that turns out for you. You'll be, you be asleep halfway through, have glue in your hair. <laughs> be so funny but yeah you could definitely I mean just use what you have right poster board you probably have poster board you probably have some leaves in your stash and you have candles stop something night Enid <laughs> y'all are so funny but thank y'all for being on here I'm so excited about my trees because they're gonna go on my fireplace somehow some way and um, they're gonna look good with my mustard colors I got going on with my fall stuff. Brain is running, right, Vicky? I mean, it's like now you're like, oh, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this. Um, that's when it's that's when it's good. That's when your creativity starts churning up, and you've got all these ideas because you saw one thing that somebody did, and you went, oh, but what if we did this? Like somebody said, the fairy lights, putting fairy lights on them. I, that even never even entered my mind until somebody said it. So, um, oh, Deborah, yeah, you could use party hats. And they also have those little cones, those little orange cones. They have those at Dollar Tree. You could use those. You too, Debbie. Good night, Susan. So, anyway, so I'm going to hop off and get all of these, plug my heat tool back in and get all the glue strings off of here. Um... Lori, me too. I think I'm that way all the time. I'm ready to purge and get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. And like, not downsize, but you know, declutter like my cabinets and stuff like that. Night, Wendy. Thank you. Oh yeah, tomato cages would make a big one. And you could put it like on a pot outside your house. Good night, everybody. All right. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being here and supporting my page. And I will see y'all Monday night. But I'll put the spiders in the shop when I get off of here. And I'm going to take a video of the parking spots at the school. That's my assignments, right? So anyway, so I will see y'all Monday night. And y'all have a gr Oh, it's a holiday. But we'll see what's happening. Um, so y'all have a good holiday weekend, okay? Y'all be safe. And love y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Bye, guys.